Well, Chattanooga basketball has a chance to make history this week. The Mox men are the Southern Conference Tournament's number one seed for the first time in six years. News 12's Angela Morian joins us now live from Asheville. Angela, what's been the difference this year? Andrew, Chattanooga wouldn't be in the position they are today, which is resting on a Friday as the number one seed. If it wasn't for that offensive versatility we've seen all year, we really haven't been able to predict who it will be the number one leading scorer in any given game for the Mocs. However, there's no question that point guard Malachi Smith has stood above all the rest. He averages a league best 20 points per game, nine games. He scored 25 or more. All this success has just been a part of the plan for the reigning SOCON player of the year. In my room, everything I've done, I've written down, and I have the date when I wrote it down. I wrote all this stuff down when I was redshirting, and I knew the season I was going to have just because I know the work I put in. I knew that when my opportunity came, I was going to make the most of it. Malachi Smith is no stranger to sacrifice. Missing parties for personal growth, Smith is always focused on becoming better. I like feeding my mind. You know, I feel like if you, the more you feed your mind, the more you can grow as a person. This is like a plant. You feel you get the plant nutrients that will grow. I always have a mission, and there's no reason why. I don't um, attack my mission every day. A vision board in Smith's room has kept him motivated. It says stay anchored. Well, that's one thing. And um, uh, outwork everyone. And it's just kind of like whenever you feel lazy, whenever you feel tired, um, you know, you're doing it for a reason. My mom, she's my biggest inspiration. She's done everything for me, seeing the sacrifices she made for me. Um, she never quit, so that's why I'm, I don't ever quit when it comes to school or basketball or anything I'm trying to accomplish. Smith definitely hasn't quit on the shoe game. Basketball, probably like 20, 25, and then in total I have over like 60, like 60 to 70. I might, I mean, I might have 100, but I don't know. Malachi's got these polka dot ones that re remind me of, uh, there was a rapper named Kwame back in the, in the early 90s, late 80s, and he had polka dots for kind of his thing. So whenever I see his shoes, uh, it always reminds me of that. But uh, yeah, extensive. I'd say they have an extensive shoe game. It's hard to believe that Smith's extensive shoe game is making its first appearance in Asheville this year. Last year, COVID kept Smith at home. The mocks that derailed the mocks really promising run with their leading scorer back in Chattanooga. No excuses this year. How that disappointment from last year is motivating the mocks and what it means for tomorrow's game. I'll have that coming up for you at six. But for now, I'm just going to bask in this beautiful weather in Asheville. Patrick, what's it looking like at home?